right. Today we are going to do 1978's The Howling 2 by Gary Bradner. First off, this is this has nothing to do with the the movie Howling 2. Uh, Your sister's a werewolf. Not that we don't love that movie. But, interesting fact though, he did have a hand in helping to write the screenplay for that. Which is weird, right? So, Howling 2 book, Howling 2 movie. Alright, so this is the sequel to the 1977 book, The Howling, by Gary Bradner. And, which they also made a movie of, but... It was only loosely based on the book. And Howling 2, the book, has nothing to do with Howling 2, the movie. Got it? Okay, good. Enough with the movies. So at the end of Howling 1, the book, they, uh, they burn down the village of werewolves. And, uh, you know, her husband turns into a werewolf. And she shoots the werewolf lady that stole her husband with a silver bullet. And her and her husband's friend um, escape. This takes place three years after that. And um, so she's now living in Seattle with her new husband and his and her stepson. His psych uh, is going to a psychologist <clears throat> to deal with all the things, all the werewolf stuff. And no one believes her. She, you know, insists that it's true, and everyone was like, okay, yeah, werewolves. So she's finally starting to get, like, her life back to normal. And she, start, she starts feeling good, and then she starts seeing this woman around, and she thinks that she's being followed. Um, but she doesn't recognize her. And so she starts getting paranoid, and then, um, you know, no one believes her again. And then she's in the mall. And she sees her old husband, the werewolf husband, um, just briefly. And, like, he walks away when she tries to follow him. So now she's, like, she's 100% sure that she's being followed. And uh, her husband's back. The werewolves are coming to get her. And she's, like, uh, she tells her husband. And he's, like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go out to dinner. And she's like, well, okay. So they go out to dinner. And then werewolf shit happens at home. Uh, they come home to it. And now, you know, she's like, oh, my family's in danger. So now she's on the run. She leaves her family. And she's on the run. Because she's like, she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know where to go. So she goes... So she ends up going to her parents in Los Angeles, <laughs> which I thought was funny because it's like, this werewolf almost killed your new family. Don't you think they're just going to follow you to Los Angeles and kill your parents? Like, wherever you go, you're going to put the people in danger. So why would you go to where the old people were? Like, wait, this isn't a backdrop. These are books. I don't know why it looks like a green screen when I do the video. So where are we at? Oh, she's in L.A. Werewolves. Um, then she goes, she's got like, oh, I gotta find this Chris, dude. He's the only one who can help. So she finds out he's down in Mexico on vacation with, like, some young girl. And she goes down there and, uh, <clears throat> then, uh, you know, werewolf fight. Were werewolf showcase showdown happens. Um... So yeah, this was really good, first off. It was really easy. Um, really easy to read. I just cruised through it. It took me like two days. Uh, it was engaging. It was creepy. It was There was tension. It moved fast. Um, the werewolves are... They're just wolves. They're not wolf men, you know? They just turn into big giant wolves. Which I think is more of like the classical... The classic uh, mythology of werewolves is that, you know, 
they're not they're not like standing up on two legs they're just big wolves humans turning into big wolves um not that i dislike the other I, you know i think they're both cool and they both have their uh appeal you know the uh the big wolf the the original mythology of it is the big wolf and i think that's cool and it's uh i guess more realistic and then the uh you know like the wolf man it's more fun and then there's also like the uh the gypsies there's gypsies in this which is like classic also like uh, wolf werewolf mythology um so yeah it's cool because it's like the mexican there's like gypsies in mexico and you know they go out to the mountains and i don't know it's just really cool great atmosphere um but yeah if you're looking for a great uh horror book that's not sloggy you know especially if you like uh um you know there's a lot of these uh 80s horror that's really fat and just slow and filler and, and if you're like you just got slogged down on one of them uh, i would suggest picking this up because this will get you back in the swing of it you know it'll make you want to hunt down more so howling to gary lobo loco bradner